What's up everybody? My name is Invader Pro Zero and welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. So, in the last episode I showed you guys how to refuel. I went and we went in an orbit the episode before that and we also did some docking. We're going to land on the moon. So, um let's get lander 3. Yeah, uh, Lander 3 is the, it should be the better one. So this is the sketch that I've come up with. So we, as usual, I'm going to show you guys from bottom to top. So you get three of our, um, what are they called, Hawk engines. And then you climb up with three little fuel tanks, the mass of 20 and the fuel 18T. You just go up three um, like this. Then you get two aerodynamic nose cones, then you get a separator, and you get the very simplified Broadward LF engine, two more large fuel tanks, another separator, oh my god, I'm going to break everything, and then another one of these rockets. Yeah, another one of these rockets. Then you get two landing legs and to RCS thrusters you get a docking port small then you go in your big part no not big parts aerodynamics and you get a fairing this piece here goes up there then you get this piece here goes here and then these pieces go here and then you want them to connect the fairings gonna be very helpful for aerodynamics cancel your parachute what's flying I mean, sure. There you go. It's clear debris back to build. Just pause it so that in case. Now let's bury again, I guess. So both all three engines on. And launch the rocket. That was a little weird. Sort of a glitch. So, now we have a lot of time to spend. We have two of these, and we're probably gonna dock on one to refuel, because that would be smart. And then I have two, I two things on the moon. One of them has no fuel, one of them is a. It's a rover. Next episode, or in this episode, I'm going to show you how to build a rover to launch. And then I might show you how to work it. If we have time. It's 11.38 here. While I'm recording this. And I'm really tired. <clears throat> also... Thank you to Broad Gaming, I think was the name, for subscribing to my channel. Another YouTube channel you guys should check out. He's got some pretty cool stuff as well. As if he would be interested with 257 subscribers. To get seven more. So yeah, usual thing. You have to get into an orbit. And then what you want to do is dock onto one of these two or on the one that you have in space I have two of them because I want the more space the more the better the more fuel I can put on it because the more probes I can launch so you should know the drill by now 30.9 3 
five, six, seven, eight, just launch now. Okay. So you want to make an orbit. Um, full disclosure, you don't have to make an orbit. You're not 100% obliged. You could find a way, and that's what I kind of do with my first... <clears throat> sorry, my second lander. I didn't have to do it. I kind of just launched, did my own orbit, and then just did it all around. But this one I want to refuel. I want to show you guys the most effective way of doing it and the way that actual astronauts do it. All right, out of fuel... So detach that, and in the meantime, we're also going to detach this. That's just for aerodynamic efficiency in space. Once you're done, and let's just clear the debris because we don't need it anymore. I like the update for um, clearing the debris. It allows space to be cleaner in case you do like rocket launches every five seconds, kind of like what I do. Because I need to test my rockets and see how they work before I play. I mean, I have hundreds of rockets set up that I've already built. But if I want to try and go to Mars, which I have not done yet, I'm going to have to test a rocket. And this rocket, I think, could go to Mars if we refuel it. It can go to Mars. With, it can go to the moon without refueling, but you land on the moon with no fuel left. Oh, I want to land on the moon, but still be able to take off from the moon. Which is hopefully what I can do. We'll see. Anyways, you've probably seen already how I do my orbits, sort of waited out. Take my time, come into this part here, keep turning around. And I sort of want to dedicate myself to one video game. I think it's going to be Fallout Shelter for the moment. Just leave me a comment in the section below about what game. A Minecraft, if you want. I mean, I could try and set it up. It's kind of hard because the... Um... No, the screen recording works. The voice memos. Because I use Apple. And I so I use the voice memos. The default mem voice recorder. And if I play Roblox or Minecraft or any of these games... For some reason, it cancels out. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I'm not smart enough to tell you. I mean, we could just do this one since we are basically right on top of it. So we're going to do this one. Set as target. All right. We're not going to use our SRS yet. First, we have to catch up to you. It's going to take a long time. All right, editing out. All right, we're coming up on him. Almost there. Come on. All right, then turn our rocket the direction of space directions and then turn off. Next up, turn on RCS. Am I close to purge on this one or on the other one? Doesn't look like it's on this one. It looks like it might be on the other one. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm keeping quiet because I'm pretty sure you guys already know the drill. For an orbit. Oh my god, I have a serious problem. 400, can we get closer? 200, can we get closer? Oh, come on. <sighs> Think I made it bigger? I 
Okay, that's as close as we're gonna get it. All right. So yeah, you guys seen my video on the orbit. If not, go check it out. It's on my channel. But yeah, anyways, you want to make an orbit and then I'll teach you guys how to refuel. I think I taught you guys in the last episode. Oh, shit. Yeah. Clear debris. Okay, sort of failed on that. My bad. Don't worry, I'm gonna edit out the second launch. So, um, yeah. All right, so we're back where we left off. We have our spaceship up there and our, our space station, sorry. And I am the little dot in the center. Now, as usual, this is basically just the docking stages. This ship right here is almost identical to the docking ship that I've made. Now, to land on a spaceship, space station, just follow those instructions that, from the video. They're on my YouTube channel, you can go check them out. I'll leave a, um, I'll just leave a link in the description for you guys. Yeah, the basic stuff, just keep... Hammering on the buttons till you get absolute control.
Alrighty. Now slow the ship down. There's not a lot of content in this game, so there's not a lot to comment on. So yeah, this is basically just another tutorial on this, but I'm not talking much because we've already done this in the last episode. I'll leave a link in the description like I said before. Alright, so now we have absolute control. We're going to try and do this. This will be the hardest thing in this game. Oh, sweet mother of God. Don't hurt me. Alright, we're good. There we go. Alright, so you are 29%. Fill him up. Now you are at zero. You are useless. You are at 100. Fill him up. These are just, um, <clears throat> yeah, refueling probes, I would call them. And fill them up as well. Okay, now you are at zero. Detach the entire rocket. Could leave a little bit of fuel in, like, this order of the thing. You're at 100. Alright, and now we're gonna go to maps. Now, this thing. Let me just. There we go, we just destroyed the rocket. So now that we have, oh my god, this game is so laggy for sometimes. So now that we have an orbit, let's get back on Earth. Around Earth, we want to land on Moon. So what you want to do is click on the Moon, set as target. Now you have to, God, you have to have an orbit. God. Oh my goodness. You have to have an orbit to do this. For the main reason of that, you need... This little thing. Now, we have just created an identical twin orbit, and we also have a hundred and a hundred, so we can detach this rocket, and we will maintain that orbit. Oh my god. It's because my phone is charging. Hold on, let me just unplug it. There we go. All right, now let's turn off RC it. Let's actually get a distance away. Just so that that glitch doesn't happen again. Oh my goodness. Now you'll notice this sort of shadow fading kind of thing that's glowing out. Well, that's your distance launch. So then what's going to happen is the other half, the other side, is just going to shoot out. And they're going to meet into the moon right there. For some reason it works. Don't ask me why. 
I'm just a guy piloting a spaceship and doing what the computer tells me to do. God. Anyways. I just want to get to here. Into this little window. Call it, yeah, we'll call it a window. It'll be more of a window, yeah. So now that we did that, you want to put full throttle and burn inside this window. And as you can see, the other side is burning. It's burning quite slow. You're also gaining speed. So it starts slow, but then it gets really big really fast. You'll be surprised. Then after a while, now you can start to see the form of it coming in. After that, you will see like an arch. And at the tip of the arch, it will say encounter. Now you're not going to have to pay attention to that. That's just where you're going to hit the moon at that tip. Then you're going to see something on your moon. It is just, just like one of the simpler and ways that I found to do it. You're going to find something going on the moon. You're not going to find it yet. And that's the moon's atmosphere and like gravity pull. So careful when you're in that. Okay, so you're opening up the window. As you can see, it's getting pretty big. Slowing down the burn might make you conserve energy. But not worth it. Because you're just, you would just burn through all the energy and fuel you have. And then either way, you're going to have to throw this away before you land. So there you have your moon approach. Not that important. And when you see the word encounter, be ready to stop your engines. Start to slow them down now to like 42%. There you go, encounter. You're going to stop so that you can actually see something. So here's the encounter, and here you just saw this come up on your moon. That's your landing orbit. And you want that to hit perfectly on to the moon kind of like that so basically what's going to happen is you're going to go through you're going to hit this tip which is going to make you go at this tip go into here and then instead of going through it and getting shot into deep space and doing a moon orbit you are just going to be landing directly onto the moon now this looks quite impossible but just wait and you'll see As you come in for this encounter, zoop, gravity does the rest of the work. Now, fill that up to max because you're going to need it. Look around for the moon. There's your moon, buddy. And there's you. Coming onto the moon quite hot, so um and also be ready to prepare RCS thrusters. Okay, so times one. You're gonna wanna straighten yourself out, because or else you're gonna crash tip first, and that's not gonna be fun. Don't try and take a parachute and try and land on the moon with a parachute. Doesn't work. Not enough atmosphere, and it won't let you. Could be useful for landing on Earth, but not on Moon. Now, keep going to like... What is it I go to? I go to like 100. Maximum 100. Don't do 500, because you see you go way too fast. And keep adjusting accordingly. Now... You're really close to the moon. Start burning a small amount of thrust. Slowing yourself down. I'm just kidding. Do this. 25, get to 100.
Alrighty, so now turn on RCS and set up landing gear. Do this. Oh, Jesus. So I sort of failed. God. This is what happens when you fail. If you crash land, because... I mean, hopefully I will land safely. This isn't really a moon landing. It's supposed to be very precise. You don't want to go too far because you want to sort of maintain your speed. I kind of went really fast because I was getting really bored. And this is what happens. Your engines are dead. And so you're going to be spinning. For a long time. And flying. For a long time. The game just crashed. This is um, an early access game. So you will see that happen often. Early access. Maybe not. But it's a pretty new game. So you'll see this happen often. God. Every time I click on map, I keep getting kicked out. Resume game. Click on map. Okay, so don't click on map. It's broken. Got it. Don't learn your position. Just maintain this and... Keep going. Now, don't try and decouple it, because that will be a cushion for when you land, if you ever land. I just wanted to see how close I am to my rover and stuff. Because I would like to travel to these places after a while. Should actually be able to see them. So, yeah, I swear I've done this before. It just may not look like it from this because I was not ready. I just anticipated too much and was not ready for the landing. But um, our thing is slowing down. Fortunately, not going to help us because we're about to hit the ground to spin faster. Every time you hit the ground, you spin faster till you either deplete everything that's on your spaceship and die... Or you actually stop because you're going because the game has gone sick of moving. No, no, no. There we go. Start pressurizing downward now. So I kinda landed on the moon, kinda not. Just try and slow ourselves down. See what we can do. All right, let's just let Earth do its business. God, so I really have to edit at midnight.
Okay, lost him. Damn it. Didn't work, Captain. Uh... So this was left of our spaceship because I was trying to slow myself down or else I was gonna crash and land anyways. Glare debris, that way I can stop. But yeah. I already landed a ship here. This guy. He's out of fuel and he can't do anything. And he's coming to be looked at from this guy. My rover. Which I also managed to land. Not a bad little thing. Pretty cool. But yeah. Tried to land on the moon. I showed you guys how to do it. Now... Uh, moral of the story is, don't do as I did. <laughs> so, kinda landed on the moon, kinda didn't. I touched the moon. That's 100% sure. You can't disagree with that. I touched it. But anyways, yeah. Um, that's the end of this video, I guess. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.